This incident began at 2.39 this morning when officers uh, working on 6th Street heard gunshot in the area. Uh, they reported over the radio that they heard a gunshot. At this point, officers that work in the department's HALO uh, uh, division, where we monitor the cameras in the downtown area, began looking to see if they could isolate what had happened. They did, in fact, uh, find video that captured uh, the suspect in this incident firing a pistol into the air. They put out a description of the suspect that was involved in this incident and occurred uh, in front of one of the uh, bars on 6th Street. They put out a description of his clothing and the officers that were working on 6th Street immediately began looking for him. This all happened within minutes. Uh, in, uh, at uh, 241, they've, uh, they, they give out the description of the clothing and then at 242 is when we have officers report that shots have been fired. So what transpired there in those couple of minutes based on the preliminary investigation that we've done to this point, the suspect in this incident uh, fired his weapon in front of one of the clubs on 6th Street. Uh, and then again, we observed him on the halo cameras when a description was put out uh, within a minute or so later, our officers observed this suspect as he was walking on 6th Street. As the officers started to move towards the suspect, uh, he then started running. We had several officers that went in foot pursuit of this suspect. They ran for, uh, a, looks like a half a block westbound on 6th Street, and then turned northbound into the 600 block of Trinity, directly behind us. Uh, the officers, as they pursued him, uh, observed that he uh, had a pistol, and at one point, based on our preliminary investigation and on the reports that we've been given, the suspect did turn and fire towards our officers our officers returned fire and the subject was ultimately shot at that point. We do have evidence on the scene that uh, lends to the uh, facts as the officers have laid them out. Uh, we have fired casings from a pistol that are not consistent with the ammunition or the caliber of weapon that Austin police officers carry, but they are in fact consistent with the ammunition was, that was in the weapon that we recovered from the suspect in this incident. And we do have a casing that was recovered in front of the nightclub where the initial incident started with the shots fired. And we have another one here in the 600 block of Trinity where the shooting happened with the officers and where they reported that the suspect fired at them. Um, the sus uh, suspect uh, we went down after he was uh, shot. The officers went in and began life-saving measures, and EMS arrived on scene uh, within minutes. The suspect was transported to the hospital, and he was pronounced, uh, he was transported to the hospital at 2.48 a.m., and he was pronounced deceased at 3.08 a.m.